In this video, we will talk about how to get a CSRF token from cookies for Ajax calls in Django. This code I used in the last video. A link will be in the description to this video. And the idea of this project is very simple. A user can send Ajax post requests and this Django app just respond to these requests. The main issue here is that post put, patch and delete HTTP methods are not safe. And uh, it's mandatory to use CSRF tokens when we are sending POST requests to our Django apps. So, in the last video, I used the CSRF token tag in the index.html template. This tag. The CSRF token I've got from the hidden input tag and then just used in my JavaScript. And it looks like this. I have a green large button and when I'm clicking on this button, front end performs a get request and get this epoch time from the server. And when I'm clicking on these cards, the post request is performed and uh, I've got these values from my Django app. In the inspector in the network pane, we can see that Django responded successfully to get and post requests. Okay, but now I want to delete CSRF token from index HTML file. Let's refresh the page. And we can see that the get requests handled successfully, but when I'm clicking on cards, nothing happens. And we can see that Django responded with a forbidden error 403 status code because there is no CSRF token anymore. And we can see the same in the console. Forbidden CSRF token missing or incorrect. But if we look at the cookie pane of the any request to Django app get or post, we can see that there is CSRF token in cookies. And we can use this value in our Ajax request. And this video is about how to get this CSRF tokens from the cookies. Because uh, it may be more convenient and safer to use cookies to get CSRF token, but not CSRF token tag. So, actually, Django documentation provides the solution. This JavaScript snippet and it works well out of the box. In this video I want to just comment it to make it a bit clear. But before I start, let's print the content of the cookies in the console. I want to get all cookies regarded to the page. So I want to use the console log command and the document cookie. Let's refresh the page. I'm opening the console pane and uh, we can see CSRF token, the name of the cookie and its value. I have here only one cookie CSRF token. Let's add a new one. Above the console log, I want to use document cookie that equals to and then I want to specify a new cookie. Let's say that'll be the name and John Smith. And again, let's refresh the page. And now we can see all our cookies as a single string. And these cookies are in the key value format and they are separated by semicolons and spaces and sometimes by tabs. So our task for now is to read all cookies, then get the certain cookie with the CSRF token name and get its value. The value is a substring after the equal character. 
It's a pretty simple task. In Python we can do it rather quickly, but we have to do it in the JavaScript file. And I want to copy this string to my script just as an example. Okay, and then I'm defining a new function that has one argument, the name of the cookie. Let's say the function will be get cookie. And it takes the name as an argument. Then I'm creating the resulting variable, the cookie value that equals to null. And then I have to check whether the page has cookies or not, and whether the cookies is an empty string or not. So, if document cookie, like we did earlier, and document cookie is not an empty string. If it's true, I want to split all cookies by semicolon and uh, as a result I'll get a list of strings. So I'm creating a new variable cookies that equals to document cookie. Then I'm calling its split method and the separator will be semicolon. And now the cookies variable contains the list or array of strings. And then I want to iterate over the cookies list in a for loop to clean each element from spaces or tabs, if any. We have one here. And also I want to check whether it starts with the CSRF token string or not. And if it does, I'm going to get its value just by getting its substring starting from the next character after the equal sign until the end of the string. And that's it. So I'm starting here a for loop. If is less than cookies list length. And on each iteration of the for loop, I'm getting the i element of the cookies list, and I'm calling its stream method to read off spaces and tabs. And the trim method is an analog of the Python strings strip method. So I'm creating a new variable cookie that equals to cookies i, and I'm calling its stream method. Then I have to check whether the cookie starts with the CSRF token and the equal character. Unfortunately, JavaScript has no starts with method unlike Python strings, but we can do the same with the following way. If cookie and I'm calling the substring method substring that returns the part of the string between the start and end indexes or to end of the string. So I am passing into the substring method 0 as the first argument and then ending index. And the ending index will be the length of the name variable. The name variable, this one, I am calling its length property. And I have to add one because uh, the substring method returns a substring before or until the ending index. And uh, when substring method will return me the substring, I assume that that'll be CSRF token. I want to check whether it is the name variable plus the equal sign. If it's true, if it is this substring, I want to get this value. Again, it will be the substring of the cookie variable, and so the cookie value will be equal to the cookie substring. And uh, the starting index will be the name length plus one. 
and I want to break the for loop. Django documentation says that we have to use here the result of the decode URI component function. But uh, the value of CSRF tokens are not encoded as URI components. But I'll do like Django documentation says. It's done and now I want to return the cookie value. And now I want to get my CSRF token. So I'm creating a new variable CSRF token that equals to the call of get cookie function. And I want to get the CSRF token. And uh, in my post request in the data dictionary, I can use this variable CSRF token. It will be enough for using with the JAX post requests, but before I'll test it, I want to check my function for typos. length of course okay let's test it f5 get requests and post requests it works great but Django allows us to pass CSRF tokens in our apps and not in the data dictionary but with the requests headers and we can use this two snippets from this section cross-site request forgery protection but I want to start from the scratch so somewhere here to set the headers of Ajax requests we can use the Ajax setup function Ajax setup and the Ajax setup function just edit the settings object that defines the default parameters of future Ajax requests. And we can look at it in the inspector's console. jQuery Ajax settings. There are many parameters of Ajax requests. But I want to change only one parameter before send. Ajax setup accepts the dictionary as an argument. So I want to use the before send key and uh, a new value will be a function that accepts the object of the XML HTTP request. It's our Ajax request, XHR. I am calling its set request header method and uh, I am passing into it the name of the header that will be xcsrf token and uh, the value will be our csrf token variable. And now I can delete csrf middleware token key and its value from my post request. Let's test it again. F5. And it works, still works. I'm sorry, network we can see and we can see in the headers pane request headers we can see our x csrf token with the value of our csrf token cookie 
Okay, it works, but this solution is not universal because I am passing the CSRF token with any AJAX request. But CSRF tokens are required only for post, put, patch or delete requests. And also it is a good idea to prevent tokens from sending to other domains, to prevent cross-domain requests. To filter out improper requests, we can use a helper function that will check whether a request type is a post, put, delete, patch, or otherwise whether a request type is get, options, head, etc. So let's create a helper function above my Ajax setup function. Let's say it will be csrf safe method that takes a method HTTP method as an argument its name and here we can use a regular expression like Django documentation suggests but maybe it is more convenient to use a list and its includes method so the returning value will be the following I am creating a list of strings it's uh, HTTP methods options head and the trace they are safe method and now I am calling its includes method and I am passing into it the method variable and that's all the includes method works like Python's in keyboard so if the argument or the includes method is in this list this expression returns true and then in the ajax setup function i want to just check whether the type of request is safe or not and whether the ajax request is the cross domain request or not so my function also gets a new argument the settings object and here I want to check if then I'm calling csrf save method this one and I'm passing into it settings type we saw settings type in the console when I called ajax settings object so we will get the type of the request and then we will call csrf safe method and if this method is safe method the csrf safe method will return true otherwise it will return false and it means that we have to pass with this request our csrf token and that is why i have to use here a not exclamation mark if not csrf safe method settings type and if this request is not cross domain and that's all let's test it again f5 and it works that's all if you like the video please thumb up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching